Hello, my name is Antonia Donchile and I'm a Group Sustainability Specialist at CRODA. In our journey to become climate, land and people positive, we want to ensure that we respond rapidly and appropriately to the current circumstances within our environment and our society. Our 2021 materiality assessment has helped us identify and prioritize key sustainability issues and opportunities at the group level to define the expectations of our stakeholders and the emerging industry trends. This allows us to refine the sustainability objectives and targets that sit at the heart of our strategic and operational approach. Our assessment included three broad stages, desktop research, stakeholder engagement, and a final scoring process. We examined a broad range of internal and external documents to reveal the sustainability matters and opportunities most cited by our stakeholders. This included specifics relating to investors, customers, suppliers and peers, along with industry benchmarks and publications, as well as internal policies and guidelines. This research showed hundreds of material issues that we then consolidated through a multi-stage bundling process, merging material issues of similar nature to create a final list of 65. These issues were then defined and grouped under 15 material areas to facilitate issue prioritization. This was used in the second stage of our assessment, supporting our direct engagement with stakeholders. We collaborated with an external specialist to conduct surveys and interviews with representatives of four key stakeholder groups, investors, customers, suppliers and employees. We designed our stakeholder selection process to fully represent all sectors of our business and all geographies. And based on their relevance and importance for each stakeholder group, this survey helped us to validate, score and rank the material issues and areas identified by our desktop research. Investors, customers and suppliers were then further interviewed to better understand the external stakeholder opinion on CODA's approach to performance and communication around sustainability, as well as give us a more granular understanding of emerging trends, priorities and perceptions. The purpose of this last phase was to produce a hierarchy of material areas which reflected the findings of the assessment. Our sustainability committee examined the findings of the materiality assessment and how this linked to our ESG strategy and reporting framework. And the themes on the horizon and recommended actions from each stakeholder group were analyzed against our 2030 commitments to ensure alignment and to identify issues that are important but not currently addressed, as well as opportunities for their management and monitoring. Finally, new material areas were added to the materiality matrix to reflect the new learnings and inform future actions.